Hi, I'm Sirka, I'm the Pilates teacher at the Factory Fitness. And today I'm going to teach you how to do Pilates with the foam roller. The foam ro roller provides an unstable surface for you to do your exercises on and it's a fun way to make your Pilates exercises more challenging. The first exercise starts sitting on the roller. So take your time getting on. You want to stabilize with your hand and then just come and sit on the front edge. You're going to slowly place your spine back onto the roller. And make sure your head has room that it's resting on the roller as well. Feet are hip width apart. You can have your hands on the floor if you're feeling a little bit wobbly, or else you can place your hands on the front of your pelvis. You're going to breathe into repair. We're really just going to work, first of all, on stabilizing the pelvis on the roller. So you're going to keep your tummy engaged, keep your left leg really still, and just allow your leg to open out to the floor. Breathe in as it closes. You'll feel wobbly, you'll feel the roller moving, but you want to work your tummy muscles, pull your shoulders down, and keep yourself settled and still on the roller. A progression for this exercise is to lightly place one fingertip on the floor, breathing in to prepare, and as you exhale, we're going to fold our knee up off the mat. So you're going to keep your pelvis in neutral and take your knee into your chest, breathing in, stay here, and then exhale, keep your lower back in neutral, keep your pelvis in neutral, lower your foot back onto the floor. When your leg is up there, if you're feeling nice and strong, you can test your, your stability by lightly taking your hand off the floor. And if you're really brave, you can take both hands off the floor and see how long you can stay for. And then slowly lower your leg back down onto the mat. So those two exercises are for pelvic stability. You want to alternate both legs and do 10 sets of each exercise on both legs. The next exercise we're going to do is for your upper body, so it's for scapula stability. You're going to start with your hands directly over your shoulders. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears and keep your upper back and your shoulder blades in contact with the roller. Breathe in to prepare. As you exhale, pull your shoulders away from your ears, reach your arms back, keep your ribcage in the, floor, in the roller, so try not to arch your spine. Pull your arms back, breathe in, keep circling your arms out to the side, pause briefly at shoulder height and pull your arms apart. Keep moving in your circle, resisting as you push your hands down by the side and then inhale, come back up. Exhale, palms face the ceiling, reach your arms back. Squeeze your ribs into the roller, squeeze your tummy into your spine. Continue in that circular motion, taking your arms wide. Keep your shoulder blades on the roller and inhale, come back up. You want to do this 10 times and you can also reverse circling around in the opposite direction 10 times with this one as well. And this is for mobility and stability in that scapula and upper body. The final exercise in this program is spine curls. It's for spinal mobility, but with the introduction of the foam roller, it targets your bum and your hamstrings a little bit more. So come and lie on your back. You're going to sit your feet, so the arch of your foot is going to sit up on the roller. Everything else is the same, pelvis is in neutral, spine is in neutral. You're breathing in to prepare. As you exhale, push your lower back into the floor, scoop your pelvis up, and then push your feet into the roller as you wheel up through that spine. Already, you'll feel the backs of your legs and your bum muscles working. Inhale, stay here, push your hips up, push your feet into the roller, and as you exhale, keep your hips high, keep your feet on the roller as you roll your spine back down onto the floor. One more time, you're exhaling, you're rolling, wheeling up through that spine, breathing in, staying here, and exhaling, roll back down. When you get up to the top, try not to push the roller away so your feet stay where they are. You're not going to push that roller away from you. You also might feel your hamstrings gripping. They might cramp a little bit, so try and squeeze your bum muscles a little bit more and then rolling back down. You want to aim to do 10 of these, but like I said, if you're getting a bit crampy in those hamstrings, maybe just do half a set, so maybe just do five. We did pelvic stability, arm circles and spine curls with the foam roller. And by providing an unstable surface, the foam roller is a fun way of making your Pilates exercises more challenging. 
So that was how to do Pilates with a foam roller.